Hi everybody, so what we're looking at here today is the Hawk Endurance ED 10x25 and the Viking ED 10x25, the, the Kestrel model. So which is better and which should you go for? Well to be honest with you, it's pretty much a photo finish regards optics. Perhaps the Viking gives a slightly brighter image but does it is that just my head telling me it should be brighter because it's dielectric coated prisms versus silver coated but the difference if there is any it's so small I could hardly tell the difference maybe you can if you try set but regards image brightness clarity field of view uh, both visual and apparent, there's really not much, if anything, to choose between them. They're both the same weight, they're both double hinge, they're both 13mm eye relief, same field of view, uh, as I mentioned, same apparent field of view, both ED glass. So, there's really just the basic optics, the, the view that you see, There's, it's just down to other choices, I guess. And... I would say both of them, uh, with just being 13mm eye relief, they're not really suitable for spectacle wearers. And so it comes down to other things that may be of more importance to you, maybe not important to, to me, but to you, you, you might think, yeah, they're the ones to go for. So a couple of advantages each as a, over the other, and then some differences which, depending on which way you look at it, is um, is not an advantage, and so I think I've mentioned this before in previous videos. The excuse me, the Viking eye cups do stand stand stay nicely in place when you put a lot of pressure on, whereas the Hawks don't. But to be honest with you, the because of the way the eye piece the eye cups are set, they don't they could actually do with coming out another couple of millimeters. And so you're not really pushing them into your eyes anyway. So is that really going to affect your daily use? I found the Hawks focused around about 20 centimetres closer focus. And so if you like looking at your bugs and your butterflies, your close-up wildlife, then perhaps the Hawk has it. So perhaps you prefer the better eye cuts of the Viking. And so that's one each. And another advantage of the Viking is that they are slightly... They cost slightly less, but with the Hawks, you get the lifetime guarantee, which includes accidental damage. Is is that what you're looking for, a lifetime guarantee, or are you so confident, uh, like me with my Hilkin binoculars that I did a, a, re a review of some time ago, I, I, are you going to keep them 30 or 40 years and not break them? You, you're so confident about that. so. Is the lifetime warranty as important so then I guess it comes down to other things the accessories and so with the Vikings compared to the Hawk there's the Viking case and there is the Hawk case and you can see that they both will accommodate the same item but with the Hawks you have to fold them up to put inside is that an issue or not you decide and they both come with a belt loop as well on the case. With the Vikings you get a quick release padded strap. With the Hawks you also get a padded strap but the standard loop through ones is one or, or the other what you're looking for. With the Hawks you get a little instruction manual there. Believe me there is a cleaning cloth inside there and you also get a little pouch inside the binoculars depending on which, uh, um, which patch you bought from like there, uh, there might be some, with some Hawk products there might be some old stock that don't have these yet but with these they do have this little pouch inside so that's it really that's a quick look at the the Viking Kestrel ED 10x25 versus the Hawk Endurance ED 10x25 so it's it's pretty much level pegging regards optics whether there is 
them slight differences or whether that's just me making up my mind before I've looked through them whereas you know just in case you get a slightly brighter image with the Vikings slightly less chromatic aberration with the Hawks uh, off center about 30% out but again the differences are so small so it's best really uh, if you pass in pop by our optics weekends try, try a set for yourself and uh, you decide not me and as always uh, if both products are available to purchase in the link in the description below and as always if it's the first time or your regular viewer to this channel please give us a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and I shall see you next time